have Drew Stone here from AnnotechBlackSpot.com. Right now, I'm going to show you how to root your US or Canadian Galaxy S3 running dual core LTE on your MacBook. Any kind of Mac, it will work. As you can see, I'm going to, as I said, I'm going to use the AT&T Galaxy S3 to demonstrate this process. And as you see right here, it's a brand new S3. I mean, I just factory reset it. All that will get nothing. No super user, no, none of my usual application. This is just the what it comes with. And uh, first of all, you're going to go ahead and press menu, setting. Scroll down all the way, developer option. Select USB debugging. Press OK. And hit home button. That's it for your phone. You're going to go ahead and connect it via micro USB cable to your computer. Put that aside. And you're going to download what's in description, which is that folder, Galaxy S3 LTE root, and go to tr set, uh, search, type terminal, enter, and you will open that up. Then we are going to press CD space desktop, enter desktop because that's where I have my folder. If you have it in download folder, put download right there or type download. Now again, CD space. I'm gonna go ahead and drag the folder and press enter. Now, make sure you pay attention to this process right here. The what I write is really important. If you mess it up, it won't work. We're going to write CD, no SH, sorry, space root S3 LTE dot SH press enter which will start the routing process mm. as you can see your phone is rebooting and it says do not disconnect and it says all is done rebooting S3 install super user or super SU from play store to get full root now subscribe to address sound for more videos as again I would like to thank zero max for making the script I'm just using his script thank you again for making it and uh, we're going to go ahead and download super user on the phone so you can disconnect it now and let me go ahead and exhaust focus again there you go, we're going to go to Play Store. I'm going to have to sign in real quick. And download the first one, unless you want to pay for the second one. And here you go, installing this first one. After this is done, I'm going to show you how to install Recovery on the phone. So as you can see, the LTE is taking a while. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to setting. I'm gonna set up my Wi-Fi real quick. So the Wi-Fi is connected. And it should download real fast. Go ahead and hit cancel. Install again. I guess the server is busy. Let's try Super SU because this one is now or Super User. I will be back once this thing installs because I don't know why it's taking. Oh, it's installing Super SU. I'm gonna stop this one. 
and uh, it installs successfully you're gonna have to go ahead and update the once it says install is successful that's where you know that you have rooted complete your root was went through and uh, your phone is rooted we are going to go ahead and reboot the phone right now because we just updated the binary so again reboot the phone Once it boots up, I'll download any of the application that requires the root permission and we're going to go ahead and see if the application works. I'm going to go there, Play Store, oops, kind of hit the back button from here, like there, my hand, then I'm going to search for Titanium Backup. Install that. And uh, here you go. Again, it's taking quite a while now. Oops. And it is installing the application. Screen got blacked. Let me go ahead and go back. As you can see, it's still installing the application. I'm sorry about the adjustment that I'm doing during the, this video. It's shouldn't be. Again, it's taking so much time. I don't know why. My LTE is probably. Maybe I'm throttled. Now I've kind of figured out. Maybe I'm throttled. Because I I have unlimited data plan and well, you know how AT and T's BS when you go over five gigabytes they will totally. Now let's go ahead and open it up. Asking for permission granted. And press OK. Come on, go away. Right there, root access. OK, BusyBox installed. That's really great, guys. Uh, thank you for watching videos. And uh, now let's go ahead and see if we can install the recovery on it by going here go manager go down there go manager install it oops so it's gonna install the go manager again I just wanna see why my Wi-Fi is not Turned on. Connect, brother. Again, the Goo Manager is still running and trying to install. Taking quite a while. So through this we are going to install Team Wins Recovery once it gets done. Let me go ahead and check out why the internet is not or the Wi-Fi is not working. As you can see, it's a, it has installed. It's because my Wi-Fi wasn't working and I'm throttle. 
So once you go here, press open, grant super user, press menu, uh, install open recovery script, yes, yes again, and it will download the recovery from the Go Manager or Go IM. It's and uh, then it's gonna install it for you. So this is like really quick installing your team wins recovery which is really modified and has the greatest and one of the best user interface for the recovery and as you can see recovery has been installed let's go ahead and boot into recovery let's see if we don't if we get the mm -hmm. team wins recovery or the 3e stock recovery yes so we have finally rooted up your phone and installed the team wins recovery and now you can start installing ROMs or you can go ahead and restore from backup I don't have any backup so install ROM and you can start installing and doing whatever you want as always guys I would love when you guys subscribe and hit the like buttons and this in this video we just showed you how to root your Galaxy S3 for US or Canada using your MacBook and install TeamWinds Recovery and if you don't like TeamWinds Recovery you can always go and install the what am I supposed to say Clockma Recovery just flash it up from here and it will work again like and subscribe I'll see you in my next video